Hello everyone, welcome back to another video and welcome to once again quite an exciting video. So, in this package, and as you can tell by the title, probably, this is a Core 2 Quad. This is a Q9500, uh, and I'm going to be putting it in my uh, P35 motherboard that we all know so well. So, um, yeah, basically, uh, another thing here, I, want, I just want to say this. My camera is taped to my tripod with packing tape right now because I lost the tripod mount. So if anything happens, that's probably why I'll, I'll insert a picture for you as well. But yeah, that's that's it. Um, so yeah, Core 2 Quads in here somewhere. I just want to feel around so I don't cut into it. But it took like a week to get here from... Uh, Germantown, Wisconsin, so that's like across a large body of water for me, but that's it. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll just toss that aside. It's wrapped in packing tape here. Um, so I will carefully cut with my scissors. I don't know if you guys can see what I'm doing. I'll adjust the lens in a sec for you. But... Here we are, Core 2 Quad. So, uh, like I said, let me switch to manual focus. So, actually, you know, this is really not the best. I don't know how well you can see that. But this is a Core 2 Quad Q9500. So it is a quad core running at 2.83 gigahertz. This is what was supposed to go in the uh, Socket 775 gaming PC, but uh, I didn't have the budget to buy one of these at the time. So, um, yeah, that's basically it for now. I'm going to throw it into my motherboard on camera, of course, and uh, test it now. So... Here's the uh, setup from the last video still. Uh, Core 2 Duo E7200, or no, Core 2 Duo 6600 or E6600, and uh, NVIDIA G4 7800, or 7900 GS, sorry. And yeah, four gigs of RAM, all that stuff. You can see some wires coming off of it, power reset and SATA. Those are just, I have it set up on a, on like that shelf thing next to my desk. So, yeah. I'm just running like Windows 10 on it and kind of, kind of playing around with it. If I seem abnormally quiet today, it's just my room is probably like mid 90s right now because something's like not right with it. I'm sure I've ranted enough about this, but basically, uh, in the winter, my room gets really hot because all the heat goes to my room for some reason, and the rest of the house is adequate temperature for some reason. I think I'm the first one on the uh, in the ducting arrangement. So, yeah, and then in the summer or the hotter times of the year, my room just still is really hot for some reason. And our AC isn't running right now, so that just makes it all, all the worse. So, um, of course, removing the thermal compound. I don't know where my art to clean stuff is. I would use that, but I don't have that with me right now, I guess. So, yeah. Sorry about the late upload, I guess. Um, I kind of don't have anything to make a video about right now. I was supposed to go to the surplus store again today, but uh, different plans ensued and I never ended up going, so I'll probably go uh, in the next like three, four weeks because school gets out in two weeks. It's June 9th for me on a Thursday. Which is pretty nice, I'll be honest. Um, this year, 
freshman year of high school was uh, pretty pretty interesting, to say the least. By pretty interesting, I mean it was kind of terrible, I'll be honest. I, I don't like school, obviously. So um, that's, I guess, good enough for now. I'll finish cleaning it off. So uh, this is a 2.4 gigahertz uh, Hortu Duo 6600, like I said. And um, yeah, so where are the pins in the socket? Pardon my head there. Uh, right there, I think. And I got thermal compound on my finger. That's disgusting. Uh, where did I put the shoot? That's right, I have thermal compound right now. Um, you know, I suppose just because it's testing purposes and I'm going to uh, wait until I can get a better cooler for this, I get, I'll just throw the heat sink back on with its bit of thermal compound just for now and then I will um, I will apply new thermal compound when I get a better cooler. I'm looking into the uh, Cool Master Hyper TX2 because I saw it on sale somewhere for like seven or eight bucks a piece. Which is pretty nice. So I'm definitely gonna have to get one of those, but they're out of stock right now. And literally the moment they are in stock again, yeah, I'm gonna buy three of them because I want one for this, one for my AMD gaming PC because the water cooling is really cheap and annoying, and then a third one just to have an extra. So Core 2 Quad is installed, and uh, I will reset everything up again. Reset everything up, yeah. Okay, but we'll set everything back up and uh, continue the video. So, of course, looking at my secondary display, I'm gonna put my phone aside. And the Mac Pro just went to sleep. So I'm going to, of course, hit the power button on the computer. You can probably hear the uh, 7900GS rev up. Actually, let me go into the BIOS. I want to see what the temperatures are right now because I'm worried the Q... Or, yeah, what what is it? Q9500 has, I think... It has a... No... 85 watt TDP or something, and I don't know what the 6600 or the E7200 Core 2 Duos have. And it's booting into. Oh, you know, I don't have anything plugged into the computer. That might help. Okay, please pardon the, uh, the, uh, kind of stupidness right now, while I plug everything back in, um, graphics card, and I'm just going to hit the reset button, and so I have Ethernet, USB, display, I think, yeah, there we go. I'm going to mash delete and move my chair closer to my setup and hope I don't bump the chair. So, um, where am I going right now? There. So you can see uh, CPU temperature is actually significantly lower than normal. And usually, usually it's at about 32 degrees, and that is on my E7200. It's at 32 degrees, and that's when the room is about 10 degrees colder. So, okay, that's good. That's great. Um, I think I'll, I can just hit escape because I didn't mess with anything in the BIOS, so that's good.
I'll probably overclock this too. I mean, I don't see why not. Once I get a better cooler, of course, like I said. 2.83 gigahertz for a quad core. And what I'm, I'm probably gonna use this for a server, like a, uh, I'm probably going to use this for a Minecraft and file server. So, really don't need to overclock it, but it would be kind of nice. So, properties, yeah, you can see Q9500 at 2.3, 4 gigs of RAM and everything. Let's see how it runs Minecraft. Not that it, Minecraft is an accurate representation, but, and also I'm going to load up CPU-Z. That was weird. I don't know if you guys heard that. It sounded like a, uh, like a sheep, like, bawling or whatever. Uh, I don't know what the proper term for that is, pleat, I think. Um, but one of the fans just made a really weird noise, like an off-balance, dead bearing kind of sound. And it sounded like my CPU fan, because when I, I held down the fan, not that you're supposed to do that, but when I held down the fan to kind of single out fans that would make that noise, blah, 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 it stopped doing it. So you can see I'm running everything on my Gigabyte EP35C DS3R that we saw earlier. Q9500 at 95 watt TDP. Um, yeah. So... You can see a 7900 GS test world one. I'm gonna call, I'm gonna make a new world. Let, let's see, um, 9550 test or world one. Creative, of course. Yeah, CPU fan is uh, revving a bit. I may also look into a different graphics card for this. I'm looking into maybe a uh, th R9 380 for the AMD PC just because it would uh, be good to have a better card, so I might throw the 5830 in here, because you can hear the uh, 7900, and that's that, it's been, it does that when it's like idling in Windows. So you can see 14 FPS, 26, 24, 28. Uh, where are my graphics settings? Um, no, I don't want that to be fast actually. Minimal particles, let's... Um, yeah. So, uh, decent. Once again, this computer is not going to be hosting the game, it's just going to be uh, running a server. So, Going green and green ham on this. I was gonna do like a green ham style video of it getting delivered. I've been watching green ham gaming a lot. Love that channel. So yeah, but yeah, really that's gonna be it. I think I'm not sure how long this video is, but my camera stopped. Just decided to stop telling me how long the video is. So, um, yeah, whatever, why ever it does that, I don't know, but, okay. So, yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next video, which hopefully I'll figure something out for that, because I, I literally have no video ideas right now. So, yeah.